Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing well today. Week is off to a good start, and you're looking forward to the second half. I'm enjoying my uh, my Bari pipe. It's one of the pipes that I got from my friend Danny Shore. And I'm smoking something unusual. I don't have much of this, but it is some uh, Samuel Gow with Kendall Cream Flake from 2015. It's uh, actually quite dry, so I don't think it's got much. I don't tamper. I don't think it's got much uh, going on in the way of uh, Lakeland, but not bad. Nice change. I was going through my cellar looking for something unrelated and I came across this and I thought, well, I want to have something a little different. And as you'll see, it's it's related to what I'm going to be talking about in a sense. So um, the whole point of this video is we're having an auction on Friday night, my normal Friday night live stream. Uh, this is an auction to... Uh, provide a little bit of support for my friend Justin Aldridge's family. Uh, if you don't know the story, and I've, I've told it a few times, but uh, Justin passed away in September uh, at a very early age, and I'll, I'll put up a picture here just so you can see him and some of his family. Uh, Justin was a good friend, a member of the YTPC, a professional fly tire, which is how I knew him best. Uh, family man, loved his kids. He's got, I think, six children altogether. And uh, he suffered from Crohn's disease and sadly passed away from uh, from that disease in September of, the, of this year. And at the time, I was making a few modified corn cob pipes for Justin. Uh, was in contact with him. He asked me to do it, and I said, sure. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away before I could finish them. So I thought, well, what am I going to do with them? I thought maybe I could auction them off and get some money for the family. And then YTPC folks stepped forward, as often happens, and I got a ton of donations for the auction. And I'm going to show you everything now that we're going to be auctioning off on Friday night, um, <clears throat> including those two corn cob pipes. So just a little... Uh, Background on the on the auction. Background's not the right word. Information for the auction. So all the money uh, is going to go directly to uh, Justin's wife. I, I'm not going to keep a penny of it. Um, the only exception is if you're overseas and you bid on something, I'm going to ask you to pay the shipping on that because the, ship, the overseas shipping gets quite expensive. I'll cover the shipping on everything else. But if it's overseas, I, I, I'm asking you to pay for that. Uh, and of course, if it's tobacco and you're overseas, you take the risk of uh, customs and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we will start the auction, and it's presumed that your legal sh smoking age in your area and all those sorts of good things. We will start the auction at uh, about quarter after eight. The show starts at eight o'clock, eight p.m. Eastern time, uh, right on this channel. We'll start it at uh, 8 o'clock, we'll let the room warm up a bit, and then we'll begin the auction around 8.15. We'll auction off the items that you'll see in a moment, and then when we get to the end, we'll probably spend some time doing our normal uh, Friday night chatting. I hope to see a, a good turnout, whether you're planning on bidding or not, just, you know, just show support for, for Justin's family. Uh, so I hope you can... You can make an effort to be there, even if you're not going to be able to bid. All right, so let's go through the items. Uh, I'm going to start with the corn cob pipes because these are, you know, sort of what triggered the the whole effort. Uh, there's two of them. Initially, Justin got in touch and he said that he he's always wanted a a tomato, and he wanted to know if I could make a uh, oh geez, wrong pipe. <laughs> He wanted to know if I could make a tomato out of a corn cob, and I thought, well, how the heck am I going to do that? Um, this is what I came up with. It's not quite a tomato, but it's tomato-esque. It's a little stubby pipe. Uh, has an acrylic stem, and this is, uh, it's got a swirl to it. It's a little hard to see. There, you can see some of the swirl there. 
cherry wood shank. Uh, this will darken up nicely over time. Uh, and it's a naked cob. And this is made to the specifications that Justin gave me. So um, he wanted one that was unstained. He wanted the, the naked texture. And he wanted a, a wooden shank and acrylic stem. So this is you know his design, basically. And these are started off life as Missouri Meerschaum country gents. So in talking about this, I was getting ready to start, and he said, well, maybe I'd rather have a prince. And I thought, okay, buddy, I'm going to make you both. So I made a match set. This is the prince. Uh, the prince has a band. And again, an acrylic stem. Same, same stem material, same shank material. Um, the band is an interesting story. This is actually a gold-plated band where the gold plating came off, uh, buffed off. And so it still has the gold plating information on the bottom. He didn't want me to spend anything extra since I was doing it as a, as a favor. I wasn't charging him for this, obviously. So he, when I said I was going to put a band on, he said, well, make sure it's a band that you have. And the only one that I had that fit was this, this one. So, uh, but it, it makes it special. And uh, I, I think it's, it's, it's quite nice. Uh, again, was a country gent, and now it's a little pot prints of sorts with a slightly bent stem. So we're going to auction these separately. Um, and they'll, oh, and the last thing is they, they still need to get, I don't know if you can see that, but I still need to do the pipe mortar inside. And I will do that obviously before I send them out. So those are the first items. Uh, those, those are from me. Um, as I said, folks very generously started sending items to me for for the auction and uh the first guy to step up and do that was our buddy james stumbo and james really outdid himself so got a number of items here from james uh, james makes these beautiful pipe st stands so these are i always think they look like volcanoes um and you know there's various nooks and crannies that you can you put your the bowl of your pipe in here where did my pipe go it holds it quite well, and, and you can get it in from multiple angles, which is nice. Uh, the pipe's not going to go anywhere, and it's, it's an attractive uh, piece. So James made two of these, uh, one in this nice um, sea blue color that I really like a lot. It reminds me of sort of like uh, ice on the Antarctic or something like that. And then this really nice vibrant orange-red uh, that looks more volcanic, uh, but... Both really beautiful pieces. So those are two pipe stands, and these will get auctioned off separately. James also sent a really beautiful tobacco tray. And the, the tray, first off, has a nice leather liner. You can see there's a, oops, there's a flag stamped in there, and James has done some leather work around the edge. Uh, the tray itself, and all these things are made of resin, by the way. Uh, he knew that Justin was a fly fisherman and he wanted to do something kind of uh, in line with that. So he designed this thinking about water and, and the soil at the bottom of the stream. Hopefully you can see that brown line running there and then the trees by the stream. Um, really put a lot of thought into it. And if you remove the leather liner, which is great for like, you know, rubbing out flakes and being able to pick it up and tap it back into the tin or whatever. But if you remove that, James' wife did a beautiful brook trout illustration on the tray. So this is really nice. I mean, I, I would love to have one of these myself. Uh, really, really a beautiful piece. So that will be auctioned as, as an individual item. And the last thing from James, again, this will be a separate item in the auction, is this really, really nice uh, handmade knife. Um, See, really good quality. Catches my thumbnail. Oh, sharp. Uh, nice, hefty handle. Fits the hand really good. Kilted Piper Steve's commented on this, said it would make a good skinning knife. Sure looks like it would make a good skinning knife to me. Beautiful leather hol uh, holster with belt loop and a snap to secure the knife when you don't want it coming out fantastic piece 
So this will be a separate item in the auction. So thank you, James, for all of that. Uh, we really appreciate it, and I know that Justin's family appreciates it. Uh, next item is a very special. They're all very special. Uh, this is from uh, Kilted Piper Steve and Miss Kathy. This is one of Miss Kathy's pipe rolls. If you haven't seen these, they're incredible. I, I own one myself. Um, they're great for, you know, if you're going out for the day uh, fishing, for example. Nice leather wrap that holds it all together. Opens up. This is what it looks like unrolled. There's nice ample pockets on either side that you could use for pipes or tobacco. This part provides you with a surface to prep your tobacco on if you like. You can flip it up and there's slots in here for putting uh, tampers, pipe cleaners, lighters, etc. Really versatile. Um, I use it when I go uh, out on day trips all the time. And uh, the nice thing about it is you, you could get easily get two to three pipes in here and still roll it up very securely. And it just wraps up uh, with that leather tie and the beads help keep everything nice and nice and tight. When, and it's got this beautiful deer applique on it. So really nice job. Miss Kathy does great work. And I appreciate Miss Kathy and Kilted Piper Steve for, for sending this. Uh, importantly, Miss Kathy's only going to make, I think Steve said, maybe 10 more of these, and then she's done. She's never going to make another one. So these are going to become rare very soon. So if you want one of these, this is an excellent opportunity to possibly get one. Moving into the realm of tobaccos. We have a number of tobaccos that are going to be auctioned off. Uh, the first one is this John Aylesberg Latakia blend which is a German tobacco, I believe it says 2000. I'll have to put on my glasses to make sure, but let me show that to you while I put on my glasses, which would be a little bit less boring than just watching me put on my glasses. Uh, yes, August of 2000. That's when it was purchased, so I don't know when it was tinned. Uh, presumably before August of 2000. <laughs> So, if you're, a, if you're an English lover, unique blend. I do not believe this is very easy to get, and certainly not easy to get from 2000. Um, so, great opportunity to, to try out a, a unique English uh, tobacco. We also have, this is a set of tobaccos that all came in. Oh, by the way, this is from an anonymous donor, and uh, thank you very much for that. We also have a set of tobaccos here that came in from an anonymous donor. There's, there's four in total. And I will show you those one at a time. Uh, the first, and this is why I had the uh, Samuel Galleth Kendall Cream out today, is a tin of Samuel Galleth Kendall Cream. Uh, I've had it before. It's it's quite nice. I don't really remember it well, and that's why I got out the uh, the sample that you saw me smoking earlier. Next up, we have a tin of Irish Flake. And by the way, I should be noting dates on these, I guess. So this is Peterson Irish Flake from November 2015. So that's uh, a fair amount of age on it. That should be very nice now. Uh, the Kendall Cream does not have a date on it. So I, I can't tell you how old that is, but... Uh, it's, it's got a code on it, uh, 16 space 263, but I don't know how to read the Galleth codes. So those two. A pouch. Uh-oh. There we go. A pouch of um, Holland's Finest Clan Tobacco. Clan is very unique. I like it. Um, to be honest, if I was bidding, I would bid on these four tobaccos for the clan. <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, it's hard to get, very hard to get. So uh, this this kind of raises the value of this this lot. And last but not least, 
is a tin of rustica and this is tin number 1098 of 7100 so I don't know how this got past uh, dude rustica but here it is <laughs> ready to be auctioned off so these four tobaccos will be auctioned as one lot the clan the rustica the Irish flake and the Kendall cream and finally uh, from my cellar I found a tin of Frogmorton cellar this unopened tin uh, what is the, 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 I don't know how much is in this 3.53 ounces 100 gram tin and this I received this in 2015 May of 2015 the code on the bottom again I do not know how to read the McClellan codes 470413 so I don't know if that means it was 2013 that this was tinned but uh, yeah Frogmorton one of the uh, most sought after of the McClellan blends now that they're gone uh, Frogmorton cellar so this will be up for auction on Friday night so all of those items um, the two pipes all of the pipe paraphernalia from James Stumbo and the knife the pipe roll and a assortment of tobaccos so it should be a good night I, th I think uh, we're going to hopefully raise some some money that will help uh, Justin's family get through the holidays and, and just make them a bit merrier for them because uh, it's gonna be a tough time you know it's, it's it's always tough losing a family member you know but to lose them this close to, to the holidays is, is tough so I'm really glad that we're gonna be able to do this for them I uh, look forward to seeing you on Friday night. I, I hope, like I said, if, even if you can't bid, please show up just to, just to show support for the family. I, I'd really appreciate that. And we're going to have some fun after the after the bidding is done. So, thank you very much for, for watching this. I'm not going to keep you any longer. Um, I don't have anything interesting to talk about anyway. <laughs> so you all take care. Uh, enjoy the rest of the week. And I'll see you Friday night. Bye now.